everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. But we got to talk about it. We're being presented, it, <coughs> excuse me, the article is being presented from page six, and they're talking about the housewives, the housewives of Atlanta. Okay, but we're going to be talking about one particular housewife, and that's uh, Sheree Whitfield. Okay. I really wish she would go by her maiden name because just to be t entangled with who Bob Whitfield and how he made a fool out of her. Child, I'll be claiming my, oh, <laughs> I'll be she by Sheree, honey. That would be my name since she's in the celebrity world. I mean, if Kanye got Yeezy and all this other stuff, she can certainly be she by Sheree, okay? And don't give Whitfield no kind of publicity out here. Because he did her wrong. He did her wrong. But anyway, we're getting in here because we're saying cheers. We are saying cheers and bottoms up to none other than Sheree. Okay? Because she had did something that nobody else tried to do. And that was to invite a cast member that was male from previous shows ago when he was married to Phaedra Parks. Okay? I am talking about Apollo Nada. Yes, he is coming in the scene, having a little lunchy lunch with Sheree and telling her about the comings and goings when you're dealing with a man that was incarcerated and he back on these streets. Okay, these Atlanta streets we talking about and how her ensemble of a cast might be dealing with that. Okay, I'm like, go ahead, Paolo, tell Sheree, because she's been out the game for a minute and with her coming in as a storyline talking about her. Uh, incarcerated boyfriend who went rogue on her behind and talking about he didn't want to be filmed ceasing this desist and all this kind of stuff with his name and this that and the third being used and he's not being compensated I'm like man either you want to be on it or you don't want to be on it is it keeping you from getting out of jail then leave the shit alone but don't just do all this stuff blocking charades come back to the show but we sure don't want to see her doing no bone collector shit and it seems like these are her athletic casual wear she by sheree ensembles in the back loud as this being said out there in the streets and it's louder i'm gonna say it even louder for the public they say your clothes is kind of like rinky dink they kind of like on the cheap side sheree but honey i'm just proud that you had brought it into fruition, okay? I didn't want it to be another year of no fashions with the fashion show. How dreadful in my Dwight voice, okay? But even Dwight was at your little shindig, your opening of your actual fashions being presented to the audience, <laughs> to the public on a runway. And girl, you had that pretty man, Apollo Nida on there. I was like, girl, do your thing, do your thing. Did you get permission? from Phaedra because <laughs> Phaedra as low as this going to be talked about and loud as I'm going to speak it out to the public she want to be on this show she wants to be back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta I don't know why these well solidified professional people want to go after their entertainment nightlife or life period they want to be a part of the Hollywood scene and I guess because it makes much 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 more money than a professional degree which she has several degrees but evidently it's not paying her the kind of money she likes all right over the long term so She's kind of feeling salty. I'm pretty sure to see your behind on brought P Apollo Nye back. And I know you cut him a little some song for being on the show. And I really hope they get a men's um, real uh, Housewives of Atlanta's men's group or something. Hell, Peter tried to toss it to um, Bravo when he was on with Cynthia when they were married. But it just is what it is. But I'm like... Woohoo! Oh, too much light. I like it's Todd trying to copy off of Paulo because I think Paulo had the style when he was incarcerated trying to come out. That beard look, and now Todd is sporting that same look. I'm like, hmm. Let me see. Did he get that? Did he get that off of Apollo? Now I know I'm throwing a little shade, but I'm like, hey. Some people like copying other people. I don't see why. Create your own style. You know, you got Simon Gabbard over there trying to be Dennis McKinley. Oh, as lax as Dennis is with his wardrobe. But when he need to clean up, he clean up. But I guess Todd is copying off of uh, Apollo. Because I'm pretty sure I saw this, this look on Apollo. 
first. But anyway, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just had to see. I'm just so glad to see Sheree with the storyline. You know what I'm saying? So she caught herself having a little brunch of brunch with Apollo, and he's discussing the comings and goings on how a man is treated back in the streets of which he came from before he got incarcerated and how women just shit all over them i'm like what do you mean paulo what do you mean honey talk to me talk to me because if you time out they try to make you pick up the pieces where you left off and try to make you responsible uh yeah because you shouldn't have been in the shit that you was in and technically i think phaser should have went right along with you but it's neither here nor there it's just one of them things Ain't that the same cut haircut that Sheree ran over there in the right? Can have been sporting too. And I think Marlo was sporting the same damn hairstyle. I'm like, come on, people. Everybody just getting on everybody's hairstyle and everybody's wearing it on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Psh, piss poor, piss poor. Have your own identity. Wear your hair different styles. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to be copying everybody. Damn. Then we all going to be clones out there, lookalikes and stuff of that nature. But anyway, the YouTube streets are saying Sheree that the real housewives of atlanta trailer is going to be wonderful i've seen it you know but you know I, i'm kind of skeptical because sometimes they show you just to invite you in to you know to entice you in and that scene probably will come uh what um uh, uh episode four or five and they'll give us a cheap you know stuff coming at the first and second episode so i, I don't like that build up because sometimes it just be a build up to a total waste but from what i see Sheree's going to be coming with some good stuff. She said that um, the, not the affair, but the relationship or lack of a relationship, trouble relationship with her and Tyrone is going to come at the latter part of season 14. So I'm like, okay, well, you got to be cutting up a hell of a lot more because it's going to take some time for us to get to the end, okay, of the season, okay, wrapping it up. So hopefully you showing and not proving yourself, okay. But we don't want to see you as no bone collector. I want you to solidify yourself because you did you did the whole thing with the shirt fashions. You brought them into fruition. Ta-da, okay. So we can't, you know, rag you on that. But like I said, what the streets are talking about, they ain't worth shit. They, 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 they cheap as hell. But, you know, hey, 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 if Nene can have a, a, a what do you call it, um, a boutique and candy can have a boutique hell i guess you could be having some fashions up there you gotta be the right size because <laughs> most shops like that they don't have it for the big and sexy girls they don't have it for the big and sexy so i'm hoping sheree did set some of her clothing lines to expand at least up to what size 28 like ashley now i'm not a 28 i'm just speaking for the the big folks, you know what I'm saying? That want to be represented out him. Can't just be the little tiny people, okay? But, um, yeah. Let's get on into page six and see what they had to write up on this little charade meeting with Apollo, which I think it was an excellent idea. I don't know who spun it because, you know, charade really didn't have a storyline. It's like the plug got pulled from her when her so called boyfriend, man, or whoever he wanted to be seen as, you know, had to send letters. To a Bravo talking about cease and desist and all this kind of shit. But anyway, we're getting this um, article from page six. Caroline Blair wrote her up an article titled it Sheree Whitfield and Apollo Nada Return in Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 14 trailer. Okay. Goes on to say the peaches are back. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 14 trailer dropped Wednesday and teases plenty of drama and surprises. Including an unexpected appearance from Apollo Nader. And I was like, Lord, I'm, girl, yes, that man, he, he's fine. He's fine. I don't like that little, ha uh, the growing of the beard. It needs to kind of be shaped up and a little trimmed down. Because he's kind of giving me that Amish look. Mormon look. See what I'm saying? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Then it says Sheree Whitfield, who is back as a housewife for the first time since season 10, has a candid conversation with the ex-husband of former co-star Phaedra Parks about his life after prison. When the guys come home after being incarcerated, they just sit. Wait a minute. They just... They just sit or sit all over the woman. I don't know. This It says they just is slash t so i guess you can just figure what it is i want to say it says shit so let's just go with that uh they just shit all over the woman he says over coffee 
Okay. Not a 43 was sentenced to eight years in prison in July 2014 after pleading guilty to federal fraud charges, including conspiring to commit mail, wire, and bank fraud. And like I said, I'm like, Todd, you mean uh, Apollo was doing all this under your nose and you didn't know nothing about that thing? But I think uh, Apollo probably did the right thing. He just took the... Um, he just went on and took the the time and that phase race their kids because their kids were very young at the time, especially um what's his name? Mr. President. Damn I can't think of that boy's name. But uh, I know Aiden. Damn I can't think of his other name. But maybe the communist article. Okay. Dylan, that's his name. Dylan. Um uh, it goes on to say he was released early to a halfway house in Philadelphia in June of 2019 and appears to have since moved out. Nada and Parks, 48, were married from 2009 to 2017 and shared two sons, Aiden, 11, and Dylan, 8. And I think they would have still been married if he didn't get it all entangled with that mess that made him go to jail. But it just is what it is. Okay. Whitfield, 52, seemingly connected with Nada to discuss her on and off boyfriend, Tyrone Gillums, who served eight years in prison for wire fraud. Gillums was released early in February of 2021 due to COVID-19. The couple appeared to still be going strong. Whitfield also reveals that fans will meet her blow later in the season, although he only makes a FaceTime appearance in the trailer. Candy Burris told Page Six earlier this month that Whitfield was extremely vulnerable about her relationship this season. She came back more transparent than she ever was. She used to be really private, no doubt. She shared some things in the past, but this year she just was extreme, extremely vulnerable with all that she was dealing with. The Candy and the Gang Star 45 told us. Whitfield is sure to draw up some other drama as she finally launches her long delayed fashion line, She by Sheree, and reuniting with cast members Burris, Moore, Sedora, and longtime friend turned housewife Marlo Hampton, as well as newbie track star Sanya Richards Ross. The previous appeared on seasons one through four and returned as a friend of in season eight before signing back on as a full-time cast member for season nine and ten. Whitfield skipped out on the next two seasons but briefly appeared on season 13. Despite long, well, despite losing longtime cast members Bailey and Portia, Burris told page six that the season turned out really, really great. When I say the girls came to slay this season, they came to slay, she teased. Now, I'm like, okay, if they slaying Candy, you should be definitely triple slaying. But it's just here what it is. We know you're a fan favorite of Bravo. And, you know, like I said, you might be getting another seat at the table that has nothing to do with the housewife. But we'll see if that ever comes to fruition for you. All right. But that's all I have for this particular article, y'all. I was like, well, peeping game, peeping game. That should be a very interesting table talk conversation when we see that episode air when she's actually sitting down with uh, the, the, the handsome uh, Apollo Nada. Okay, and he's telling her the comings and goings of how a man feels when he comes back home to where he left off trying to pick up the pieces. And it's just really not working out from an inmate standpoint. Okay, so that may give um, Sheree a little insight of what um, Tyrone may be going through. His emotions and this, that, and the third. Okay, about being back out on the outside and trying to definitely stay here on the outside without doing any illegal activity in the future. Okay. So, y'all get down in those comments. Y'all let me know how y'all thought about, oh, uh, I don't know if it was Bravo went and researched uh, who we can bring in to make sure they have a real, almost authentic relationship storyline. So, they went and got uh, Apollo Nada out there. Because I'm like, when did Sheree Whitfield ever have anything with in common with uh, Apollo? Because I never really saw them pretty much talk to one another or whatever. She was on the outside looking in, in other words. There were no really players around him. So, for Portia, Kenya, his wife, Phaedra, Nene, uh... 
let's see. And maybe Cynthia. We could throw Cynthia in now since we got Peter on now. And they were married at the same time. So, yeah, and, and Marlo. But I never really saw them interact. So, that's going to be interesting to see and uh, hear what they have to say to one another. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping. I hope this ain't the last we're going to see of Apollo. Uh, and I hopefully they're giving him some money to uh, appear in the show. At least hopefully Sheree is cutting him a check. Because we don't want to hear about him not getting paid. Because, you know, Apollo is one of them internet uh, junkies. He'll go up there and start a broadcast in a minute with whatever, whoever blogger he choose to go to to tell the comings and goings or how somebody used him for a storyline and they ain't even pay him what they said they were going to pay him. Uh, you know, Apollo do that. He bought that life. So hopefully you got everything cleared away with Apollo. You don't pay them off and this, that, and the third for appearing. So he won't come up here and go to a blogger, honey, and let, let have on your behind. Because we want you to stay there. We don't want you to be, you know, bone collecting around here. Because we got candy. Candy ain't going to do too much other than bone collecting, all right? Because she got to have her look. She got to be seen a certain way. And this, that, and the third. So, you know, that's just it what it is. Because right now you single in a way. Especially a bruh man still halfway out and halfway in the prison system. You see what I'm saying? They ain't going to put him a word that way. And we don't want you to be with somebody that's kind of iffy. You know, that still wants to be in that dangerous zone of employment. Okay? That can get his butt locked right back up. So, I don't know why you fell for somebody like that, Sheree. Of all the damn people out here in Atlanta. I mean, I know we got small pickings out there because you like a certain man with a certain amount of income. But maybe sometimes you just have to have your own. You got to have your own. You can't be like Portia trying to uh, have somebody use their money. And she ain't making no money. But she want that boss Hollywood life. See what I'm saying? Just don't make sense. Make it make sense. That's all I ask. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Hope y'all like it. Love it. And y'all want more. Please don't hesitate when you come on into the house. Before you put your key in, make sure you... Um, Subscribe to the channel and walk on in. Put your coat up. Put your shoe, kick your shoes off. Get you something to eat and let's sit and talk a spell. Okay, and when you get tired of my behind, you get ready. Put your clothes back on or whatever. Uh, and as you're closing the door, trying to lock it back up, cause you know I'm in the back trying to go to sleep, cause I don't talk your ears out and this, that, and the third. And you know, lock me up safely and share my videos out and like the video and go on about your way. And we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye.